This circuit is essentially a timer and a primer all in one. I threw it together, it's got some major design flaws, it's very buggy. I actually had to put a safety switch on here, as you can see, um, initially both of these two LEDs were on. This is uh, what the idea is after about 100 seconds. There's no debouncing circuit here, so I don't know exactly how long, but it should be between uh, 80 and 100 seconds. Uh, a spark, which is charged up in two 28 volt capacitors, should charge along these two leads in the water. So at any point, uh, as soon as this, as this relay is triggered, 28 volts charged on both capacitors should discharge through these two points and through the relay. I'm taping this because this is my first trial and I'm worried that the relay might become damaged in the process. Oh, you see that? You see that? Look at the water. Well, that's kind of cool. It's not doing what I want it to, but it's definitely doing something. I better turn it off, though. All right, for the sake of my safety, uh, I have to discharge the capacitors. I'm not convinced that there are that there's discharge because of the water because it took the power supply off after the fact. So, if I'm to touch underneath where the capacitors are, if I've got any moisture on my hands, even though it's only 28 volts, I could get a really bad shock. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to discharge the capacitors. Now, this is strong enough to give you a, to give not only a terrible shock but a uh, but also weld these temporarily to here. So let's quickly do this. I, I get it over with. It's not something I enjoy doing, but Okay, I guess that's it. Okay, this is the second time. We're hopefully going to actually see an arc here. Now, as talked about before, that safety switch uh, makes sure that uh, no matter which uh, toggle point this the relay is on the first time around, uh, that it won't ignite. It's 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 simply a failsafe because I have ha while everything is properly decoupled here, um, it was just thrown together and I had some f some design flaws and to throw take some stuff out put some new stuff in. Uh, as my teacher would call it, it's very Mickey Mouse, but I'm still hoping that this time I can get a visible arc between these two points because as seen before we got some sort of reaction. It looked almost like a chemical reaction between the two points but I know that's not the case. Perhaps it's not an arc because this is salt water I'm using and I, there's got to be conductance between the two points. It's simply we're not seeing a blue arc of electricity which I was kind of hoping. But as well these batteries are 9 volt batteries. They're not uh, they're very current limiting uh, resources to be using. I'm relying on the charge discharge of the capacitors to get to get a nice current stream between these two points. Now I'm destroying the batteries and I'm, I might have already destroyed the uh, the relay. So as I said just keep your eye on the uh, on the two wires there and we'll see what we can get. It should happen about any second now. Oh, there it happens again. We're getting conductance. As you can see, the wires are actually becoming very red. I'm surprised these capacitors are actually holding up. I'm sure they don't like this very much. That's right, analog students. Beware.